Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson, we will be finding the nth term of simple arithmetic sequences. So we are going to introduce sequences or progressions and find the nth term of simple linear arithmetic sequences. First, we need to define what we mean though by a simple arithmetic sequence. A sequence is arithmetic if the difference of any two consecutive terms is constant. We'll talk more about that as we go along. That is, if you subtract two consecutive terms, you get what you call a number d, and that d is what we call the common difference. Each term in the sequence is found by adding the same real number d, that is adding the common difference to the previous term. So that, for example, the next term is equal to the current term plus the common difference. For example, let's look at this. So here we have 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, and 16. Now notice 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, and 16. Notice here that if we subtract these two, 4 minus 1, we end up with 3. 7 minus 4, we end up with 3. 10 minus 7, we end up with 3. And the same goes for all the terms. So here, this term plus 3 gives us 4, and 4 plus 3 gives us 7, etc., and it goes on that way. This 3 is what we call our common difference. And this idea here, where we subtract the consecutive terms to find the common difference, is what we call a table of differences. Table of differences. Table of differences are very important in helping us to understand and make sense of sequences in general. So we have the common difference, which is d. So we subtract two consecutive terms and we get our common difference. Or we take the term that we have now and add that common difference to it and we get the next term. So pretty much that's what an arithmetic sequence is. The difference between any two terms is constant. Now let's look at these two examples. Find the common difference for this sequence at 1 and this other sequence here at 2. So let's write them down. 5, 12, 19, 26, and 33. Now notice here that when we subtract 12 take away 5, we end up with 7. And it is the same right across for this sequence at question 1. So this is a simple linear arithmetic sequence. It is linear because when we do the table of differences, we only have to do it one time. So one step here, and we are at our common difference, one subtraction. Let's look at two though. So in two, we have 5, 10, 17, 26, and 37. Now let us set up this table of differences. Subtracting here, we end up with 5. Subtracting here, we end up with 7. And subtracting here, we end up with 9 and then 11. So in doing the first difference, this is called the first difference. Let's note that. First difference. In doing the first difference, we realize that the, the, the numbers are not constant. Now let's do this, a second difference. So first difference. Now let's do another dis difference. A second difference. Now 7 take away 5 leaves us with 2. 9 take away 7. 2 and 2. So we realize that in doing the second, dif second difference here, that we do have the same number. We do have a constant. So here, our common difference is 7. And we get that in the first instance. But in this one, when we do the common difference, we do not get the same number in the first difference. We get it in the second one. This indicates that this one, as I said earlier, is linear. And this one ends up being quadratic. We will talk about the quadratic ones in the next lesson. In this lesson, we are going to be focusing on the linear types, that is the ones where we do the subtraction of the consecutive terms and get the first difference immediately being constant. So before we go any further, there is a formula that we can use. Of course, we don't need the formula, but the formula helps very much. So we have that our sequence, sequence, its general form is equal to an is equal to a plus n minus 1d. 
and that is the formula that we use to find the nth term or to put it in algebraic form, a rule for the sequence. If we want to write a rule for the sequence in algebraic form, this is the formula that we use given that it is linear. Now, some people call it a sequence, some people call it a, call it a progression, depending on where you live, uh, what part of the world you are, but essentially the same idea. So a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d, where a is the first term in the sequence, and n minus 1 times the common difference, d. So let's look at this one. 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. We realize that our common difference here is 3. And so we can take that 3 and drop it in this formula along with the first term. The first term is 5. And our common difference here is 3. And so we can write that the nth term of this sequence, that is the algebraic form of it, is equal to the first term, which is 5 plus d, which is 3 times n minus 1. Working this out gives us 5 plus 3n minus 3, and the 5 take away 3 here gives us a 2. So our sequence has an algebraic form of 3n plus 2. And what it means is that we can use this, this algebraic term to find any particular term that we want. So if we wanted the 50th term, we could find that. So for example, we could say a50, the 50th term in this sequence would be equal to 3 times 50 plus 2, and that of course would be equal to 150 plus 2, which is 152. For example, for argument's sake, the first term would be a1, which would be equal to 3 times 1 plus 2. And of course, here we see that it's 5. So the a n minus, the a n equal a plus n minus 1 bracket d, this formula here is the algebraic form of the sequence. And once we have that, we can use it to find any term that we want. Let's try it again. So here we have a sequence that is decreasing, and we can look at the common difference here, 16 take away 20, that's negative 4, 12 take away 16, that's negative 4, and you can go through and you realize that the, the constant term there, the, the, the common difference is negative 4, so let's write that down. Common difference is negative 4, and our first term, A, is 20, and so we can go ahead and put that in the formula and find our nth term. So the nth term, or again, the algebraic form of the sequence, the rule that describes the sequence is a n is equal to the first term, 20, plus negative 4 into n minus 1. And so we can multiply this out, 20 minus 4 n plus 4, and this gives us 24 minus 4n. So the algebraic form of the sequence would be a n is equal to 24 minus 4n. Let's try another one. And here we have write the write an algebraic expression that represents a n for the sequence. And this is a sequence: 10i, 8i, 6i. So it's decreasing. And then we want to find the ninth term. So here we have it, 10i, 8i, 6i. So immediately we see that the difference is 8 take away 10 would be negative 2i. And it is the same here, 6 take away 8, negative 2i. So our common difference is equal to negative 2i. And our first term is 10i. So our a is 10i. Now we can plug this into the formula very simply as we did a while ago, where a n, and remember a n is that thing, that algebraic expression that describes the sequence. It is the rule for the sequence is equal to 10i minus 2i times n minus 1. Now multiplying this out, 10i minus 2i times n plus 2i gives us 12i minus 2i n. 
And so our nth term is this algebraic formula that we have here. That is for part A. Now for part B, we want to find the ninth term. And so to find the ninth term, all that we need to do is to write A9 would be equal to 12i minus 2i times 9. And that, of course, is 12i minus 18i. And that gives us negative 6i. So negative 6i would be the ninth term for this sequence. That's how we work on finding the nth term of simple arithmetic sequences using the formula an is equal to n first term a plus n minus 1 times our common difference d. And you can use our calculator to generate sequences, practice them, um, investigate them. And of course, they are usually things that you can have a lot of fun with if you are interested in that kind of thing. So. If you haven't subscribed, of course, please remember to do so. Thank you for watching, and I hope that um, this would have helped you to understand how to find the nth term of simple arithmetic sequences.